I would like to mention the issue of keeping your isolates and cultures of rust pure. Now, this is a significant issue because what you want to do is determine what races are present in the field. And if you get contamination of your race survey, then you're not getting accurate information of what races are present in the field. Now, with rust and working with rust, it's really easy to get contamination because the spores are present on the leaves and they're coming off of the leaves and blowing around in the air. And so when you're working with your collections that you're taking off of the plants from the field, you need to make sure that you're keeping those collections isolated. And when you're deriving single pustule isolates, you need to keep those single pustule isolates separate from the other experiments that you're doing in your lab. So just in summary, it's important to make sure that when you're looking at collections from the field, you keep those collections pure so that you can get accurate information about what is in the field. In summary, this video describes the process of race analysis, including the following steps. Collecting rust from a field, isolating a single postule, increasing the rust isolate, collecting rust in a nursery, storing rust spores, inoculating plants, phenotyping differentials, and finally, race nomenclature.